So we got a ton of One Piece Netflix live adaptation drama to go over. Yesterday, an article released by Comic Book Resources, and I had to screenshot this because the original article has since been deleted. It's kind of weird, so stick with me on this one. Also, subscribe to the channel and drop a like while you're here. Thank you so much. So this article by Comic Book Resources, which is obviously the most reputable source on the internet, don't quote me on that. Netflix first test screening for its One Piece live action series flops after reportedly leaving viewers confused and disappointed. And there's a picture of Robin's face from the Wano anime series, which is ridiculous. Very clickbaity, very, uh, I have to see what's going on. You instantly see that and you gotta click on it. Within this article, and I'm pulling up all my sources here because this is kind of crazy, they source a Twitter account by the name of Divinity Seeker. I've never heard of this account. I decided to check it out. They have around 5,000 followers, which isn't a lot. It got me thinking, why is this big news article from comic book resources citing something from Divinity Seeker, who I've never heard of, which I stay pretty regularly on Twitter, searching all of these new sites and new information about anime, and I've never heard of this one. So Divinity Seeker tweeted out with 313,000 impressions. From a source connected to Netflix, there's something about Avatar The Last Airbender. One Piece tested horribly, the CGI looked bad, and the story didn't make sense to non-fans. And they're rewriting entire episodes, which is a huge claim to make, absolutely ridiculous. Who's giving 5,000 follower Divinity Seeker any news of any kind like that, that's crazy. Went on to say on hashtag One Piece, in the first episode, the first half is completely all flashbacks, features a young Luffy. Before we jump to the present and rush through introductions to Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji, all within the remaining 15 minutes. Major deviation from the source material. Now, there's a lot to unpack there, but this is a big claim. The One Piece Netflix live adaptation has a lot of heat on it, mainly because it's One Piece, which is an extremely popular anime and manga series, and it's a live adaptation, which is also a very hot topic within the anime sphere. So naturally, this exploded, everybody was talking about it, and it became a huge deal on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all over the place. Well, this news started to get out to reputable sources, namely, I saw Rogers Base, who's a big uh, YouTuber, does One Piece content, he claimed that this was a, literally, this is a made up story is what he says. And then within another hour or so, there was another article out by anime on comicbook.com, which they have 19,000 followers. So uh, there's all of these comicbook.com articles that I see all over the place. They're all different like entities. There's one about anime, Marvel, Disney. You see like they're all nerd culture related and it's all ridiculous, but this one, popped up on my feed literally hours later. No, Netflix's One Piece did not flop any screen tests despite recent reports so fan can breathe a bit easier. It's like, bro, you put this out, what are you doing? So just to touch a little bit on this article, let me read a little bit of it. So first we have to get some context. A number of fan sites began sharing an alleged antidote about test screenings of One Piece ahead of its release. The information which comes from Twitter user Divinity Seeker caught the eye of fans as it suggested One Piece was off to a bad start. A report went on to suggest Netflix's One Piece was riddled with tonal issues as well as visual effect problems, but after some digging, well, those reports are falling apart. No way, shocking. Not long after the Twitter report made its way to fan sites, Greg Warner took to social media to call out these posts. Greg is a translator for Viz and Shueisha. He translated all of the One Piece manga, if I'm not mistaken. I listened to the One Piece podcast, he's on there. Talks about it all the time. Very reputable source. He's close to the One Piece business side of things. So if anybody was gonna know, he's somebody that might potentially know if this was true or false. As an official collaborator on One Piece who often works with Soatia, Warner had to say this, that test audience article that you don't need to read, click, or share is entirely untrue. Werner is not affiliated with Netflix's One Piece in any way, but their official connection with Oda series make their comment here all the weightier. Weightier? That's a weird word. So basically, what this article is saying is that that tweet that they picked up, ran with, and made this huge article about was in fact false. Now, comic book resource, comicbook.com, whatever this entity is, does this all the time. They'll put out the most ridiculous clickbait articles about anime, Marvel, Disney, Pokemon, you name it. If it's something you like, they're gonna make a clickbait article about it that you're gonna click on and it's the most insane, uninformed article you've ever read in your entire life. Now you might be saying, but hey, 
I just cited this article on this video to which I would say, you're right. But I know that Greg Warner, who did tweet this because I went to the original tweet, talked about it. So at least that part in the article is true of everything with this uninformed, ridiculous <laughs> situation involving One Piece's live adaptation. Which reading the original tweets, going back and looking at Divinity Secret tweets, again, a 5,000 follower account tweeting out big claims like this, huge red flag. If you've been on the internet longer than a week, you can see that and pretty clearly know that that's probably not true. So this has been the most ridiculous useless waste of time I've ever dealt with in my entire life. But I'm making this in case you see articles like that in the future about the Netflix live action One Piece adaptation. They're most likely gonna be false unless it's by a reputable source or the official Twitter account for the One Piece live action series. It's a hot topic because it's One Piece and it's live action. So there's gonna be a lot of misinformation. Now I've talked in the past how I don't think this is gonna do well, not because I don't want it to, but just because of the way One Piece is. It's whimsical, it's silly and live adaptation without too much CGI would be difficult to do. We shall see. Let me know down in the comments what you think about all this, what you think about the One Piece live adaptation. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and drop a like on your way out. I would much appreciate that. Okay. I hope that was somewhat informative and uncon... I hope that was helpful. <laughs> I'll see you later.